This morning on The Blend, we have with us Andy Earle, who is the Director of Operations for Hospice of Lansing and Stone Lay Residence. Andy, thanks so much for taking time out. Oh, thank you so much for having me here this morning. Absolutely. Well, tell me a little bit about Hospice of Lansing and the Stone Lay Residence. Yeah, Hospice of Lansing is a local nonprofit hospice organization that's had the privilege of serving our community over the last 40 years. Um, we do end-of-life care wherever patients and families call home, be it in their home, a uh, loved one's home, a community partner, or even at Stonely Residence as well. Stonely is an eight-bed hospice facility um, that takes care of patients who might need a higher level of care, or maybe home's not an option, or they just love the beautiful surroundings that we're blessed with at our facility. So what does hospice look like now during the COVID-19 pandemic? Yes, uh, Hospice of Lansing, like many of us in the healthcare organization, are um, experiencing a lot of innovation and adaptability. Um, we're very fortunate to be able to continue doing in-home visits. Um, End-of-life care is very important and that touch and physical connection that sometimes you need from support caregivers um, is something we are continuing, but also our pallians are always individualized to the patient and the family. Um, some patients have chosen to do telehealth, um, which we're doing through Zoom and all of those fun things that we're all learning a lot about. Um, and sometimes it's phone calls. So it really depends on what the patient is wants. And then safety is always our highest concern um, as we're all learning and navigating this together as a community. Well, let's talk a little bit about that safety. How do you keep your residents and also your staff safe? Yes, um, safety is always a high priority whenever you're doing care in homes or different environments and even at Stoney Residence as well. So we have been closely monitoring and implementing policies and procedures to keep our patients and families, community partners, and our staff safe as they provide this very needed care. Um, that includes personal protection equipment, um, medical screenings, and just monitoring our own health on a daily, if not hourly basis to make sure we're all up for caring and holding space for the care that's needed. Absolutely, if somebody is out there who thinks it's time that they do need to have hospice for a loved one or so, what's the best thing that they should do? Yeah, you know, it is as simple and as difficult as picking up the phone and calling and asking for help. Um, there is a team member here at Hospice of Lansing Stoney Residence, always available to answer your questions, address concerns, or if you have questions about questions, um, we're here to help and support you during this time and every day. Andy, thank you so much for taking time out. Oh, thank you so much for the joy that you bring to our community and for having me here this morning.